What is up, money makers? It's Andy, and in this video, I'm going to show exactly how you can find the list of visitors or categories our chapter doesn't have, why it's so important and it's the ultimate sign of giver's gain to invite people to our chapter, and show you some little bit of statistics about why inviting is not about necessarily growth, but about retention. Okay, so if you log in to BNI Connect and you go to reports, and hit chapter, there is a report that says classifications not in chapter. And it's a little bit wonky. I don't think this is the perfect system. I'm going to show you something a little bit better here in a second. But an easy thing to do is just click this classifications not in chapter, and it'll bring a list of all the classifications that are currently in BNI in our region um, that we don't have. So for example, there's a lot of financial advisors names. We have Chris right now, so we don't necessarily need that. So this is an out rock solid list, but like automotive sales, handyman, bank services, flooring, carpet cleaning. These are other categories that um, people are finding lots of success in BNI, which means if we invite someone like that into our chapter, their competition is already having success by being a BNI member. And this is a great place to look and it'll update in real time. So if you are curious about who should I invite, you can always pull up that BNI Connect list. Okay, but um, we're also, we started something in our Facebook group today and I want everybody to participate in. It's this poll and I just asked people flat out, uh, what classifications would you want to see in our chapter? So I would definitely encourage everybody to go and vote on this. I filled this list up of just common categories in BNI, and so like when, like right now, a photographer, there's four people who would like one. And it, when we invite a photographer, it's not just hey, we want somebody else in the chapter to get numbers or power of one. It's like no, White Dove, Dana, Nora, and myself really want to build a referral relationship with a photographer. And so when you invite one, you're actually helping your fellow teammates. And you're also uh, helping that photographer that you're inviting to the chapter as well. I want to acknowledge Dwayne, who shared that he listened to a really great um, keynote on BNIU called "Growth is Not the Goal," and the, the kind of the essence of that is that different. In our chapter, we all have different opportunities. There's some people that have this great contact sphere and this all these great referral relationships, and they're like, we don't need to grow. I'm good. We have other people who aren't making any money at all from this group, and they're like, why would I have to grow? Because this none of this is working. And so what we get is that different contact spheres have different opportunities. For example, in the Money Makers chapter right now, uh, at the time of this video, we have 16 people in the health and beauty contact sphere, and we have zero people in events. So if somebody joins the chapter in the events, they have a different opportunity than somebody joining in the health and beauty contact sphere. Obviously, there's a lot of nuance to that. But when we invite to fill up these other contact spheres, we're doing it to help our fellow members. So um, if I can please come in here, update this, tell me who you want. Um, I went and just put everybody I could think that are popular BNI um, categories. And if you don't see somebody, feel free to add it um, to the list. And we'll keep this list updated and going. Okay. And I want you to look at like what this will do if we grow our chapter. Okay, here's our chapter, the money makers. Um, yeah, money makers right here. Boom. We have 40 members right now, and we have passed. This is this stat is pulled from our Palms report. It's our last 12 months. How how well have we done? So this actually changes in real time every single week. We have passed 1.4 million, which is so awesome. I am so excited because it wasn't that long ago where this number was under 800,000. All right, and we've grown to 40 members. And this is increased to 1.4 million. But they also say if you double your chapter, you'll triple your business. Like, is that real? Um, but I went and just looked at some other chapters who are bigger than us. Okay, so I, uh, Action Partners, they're the biggest chapter in Colorado. I'm like, well, what do they do? So they're 93. Um, so that would be a little bit more than double. But they have passed, where is it? Um, chapter website. Let's look at this. So Action Partners has passed 
uh, 5.7 million. So they have, you know, if they doubled their chapter, if we double, they would more than triple our business. So like, well, that actually kind of rings uh, true. And then this is the gold mine chapter. I actually had a buddy in Utah. I was like, dude, you should totally check out BNI. Uh, this is 70 members. And this chapter has passed $6 million. And a big number might just be a number, but what you get is that as the chapter grows, that in the contact spheres fill out, there's increased opportunity for our members to have success. And at the end of the day, um, you know, as vice president and part of the membership committee, we want everybody in this chapter to have an unbelievable amount of success in this chapter and we're really looking at retention. We've also found that after the last 40 people who have left the chapter, only one of them had sponsored a member while they were still in the chapter. So that means the people who are leaving have not brought anybody into this business who've maybe not had the right uh, referral relationships to grow with. And so looking at that, it's like, wow, how do we help our members have an incredible value from their membership? It's getting them these, these power partners. So please come in here, tell us who we don't have that you would like to have. And then if you're looking for people to invite because uh, Power of One says that we should all be striving to invite at least one visitor a month. And in our chapter, we, we have a, a minimum requirement of one visitor every six months. So if we're doing that and you're like, who do I even invite? We'll come to this list because if you know of a vent venue or a florist, you're going, it was recently Valentine's Day. So if you bought your uh, partner flowers, did you invite that florist to BNI? We, well, Nora, or I'm sorry, White Dove and myself both would love to develop a referral relationship uh, with a florist. So it's not just getting one, it's not just growing the chapter to hit a number because who cares about numbers, but it really is about helping um, our teammates, the people that we're bounding together to make small business large and influential. So let's create that referrals on fire, members on ice, um, ideal. Thank you for watching this video. And if you need any coaching, help, support, wanna go over tactics on how to um, make your invitations powerful, if you're having breakdowns in there, uh, membership committee, your mentors, your leadership team are here to help you. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, being committed, uh, being that giver's gain and working on inviting and growing the chapter. Watch that growth is not the goal uh, keynote. And if you have any questions, uh, comment below, but thank you so much. We'll catch you later.